know. like my toes <laughs> touched my shin kind of oh. sprain. Like it, 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 it was that kind of sprain. That's awful. So I. can't do my blood being drawn it's it being taken away from me that bothers me <laughs> I'm like, it's not even yeah, about the blood it's about you taking like, something from like, me <laughs> even when i was a kid they would be like turn away i'm like looking the nope nope <laughs> so oh, that's fine we're I scratching off, that scratching off uh, plasma donations as a form of uh, fundraising <laughs> that's correct that's correct you mark that off the list your boy would go <laughs> 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 Anything would like, be a hey, shorter day for wake you. Up. Wake up. Uh, oh, y'all still drawing blood. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that one dude like passing out on the on the roller coaster. Oh yeah, yeah. The oh, fucking yeah, when they put the window out. sound over it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you know so, the exact no, it, video I'm talking about. Oh fuck yeah. It's there's a reason that I like blunt weapons more than I like sharp ones, because I realized very early on that I have a glitch about copious amounts of blood or my blood being taken. Mm. Um so let's make it an inside boo boo uh, that makes their head a different shape. Then instead of you know severing something, yeah, exactly right, exactly. Instead of severing something and watching them bleed out in a couple of seconds and going, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it, it's one of those. It's not. A, I've I've tried to work through it. I watch surgery videos. I I Just do it intentionally. Thanks. I will try and go donate some plasma at some point when I work up to it because I want to work through it. I hate that that's a thing that I have. But Makes with glitches, you either train through them, if you can, or you train around them. And this is one that I just gotta train around. I'm like, son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I anyway. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. For me, my glitch, my uh, my actual glitch is, is broken bones. And not just like the fact that it's broken. Like I'm talking like- Tangly like, bits. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. That well, elbow shouldn't like bend time, that way. Oh, I can't remember what fight it was, but did you see the fight? Uh, yeah. He, he his leg bent around the other <laughs> like, I was like, that was, that was so bad. Yeah. <laughs> I, so I did a live stream about how to like condition it properly. Cause everybody's yeah, out. Yeah. after that fight was over, everybody was just like, hey, you do Muay Thai, right? How do you avoid that? <laughs> and I go, I, yeah. I 100% micro fractures over a good tens of years to make sure that it all built. Don't kick with the side of your shin, kick with the point yeah. of your shin. The, the front of it. But the that was that in particular was just wild. Ugh. Oh, it, um, yeah. <laughs> we were talking about that too, like how to recover properly. Because, like, even you, like, I guess it was just funny coincidence you cut your hand earlier, but like training oh, yeah. with injuries and then yeah. making sure you don't break yourself. Because, like, most of those fights, like the Anderson Silva, and uh, that recent guy, I'm pretty sure they probably either didn't temper themselves properly or they're recovering. They fought while in yeah. recovery. Yep. That's one of the biggest things. You have to like <laughs> allow yourself time. And I'm really bad at this personally, don't get me wrong. I am, <laughs> my girlfriend yells at me consistently, but um, like you have to allow yourself time to heal. You have to rest. Like, no. Yeah, no, 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 no. You sit your ass down. <laughs> You're waiting to leave. Eat a slice of humble pie. Take a fucking rest for a minute there, bud. Just sit. You know, <laughs> yeah. I'm fortunate that like I didn't suffer any real injuries when I fought. Cause like did I did I tell you about that with that story? My my fifth MMA fight was for the championship belt in Spartica. And I sprained my ankle a week before the fight. Fuck. Like like my Damn toes, it, you know? like my toes <laughs> touched my shin kind of oh. sprain. Like it, it, did, it was that kind of sprain. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> so I fought, I fought with that. I was like, I had like three doses of ibuprofen in my body and I was icing That's my, right. I was icing my ankle before the fight, but all of that medicine took all of my strength away. Plus the fact yeah. that my ankle wasn't working. So I was I mentally thought... drained and under medicine while I was fighting for a belt and I got my ass whooped. <laughs> I, I, like, if you like that, that a strain, I would have never called no. that a <laughs> with the whole my, toe my, shin my my foot's like gigantic so like when it touched like yeah. i'm pretty sure like it's pretty flexible i'm not gonna do it now but like you can see yeah. like it's not that far away but it was a bad takedown the guy did like a double leg and he planted my heel so this touched, oh the, no. these two things touched and i couldn't even like i couldn't even like tiptoe on that foot can't even tiptoe your jordans what's Wild. the point
Fortunately, I didn't actually break anything else during that. It just, it was just that's a sprain good. and that was it, so. That's yeah, good. yeah, that's, that's off. I got a question for both of you, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just really curious what your weekly training routine is. Like, how do you, what do you do? Like, throughout, can you like just run me through like a, a week for, yeah. for you guys? So normally I am, I teach uh, traditional classes Tuesdays and Fridays. Uh, and I participate in all of our warm-ups for all of the classes, stuff like that. And then the adult class, even though I'm an instructor, I try and make sure to participate as much as possible because I know how once you hit that instructor role, it's easy to backslide into not training ever again and just teaching. It's very real. And it's, it's one of those that that's the niche that you fill now. You're an instructor. It's what you do. So you have to remind yourself to keep working. Um, so I make sure to play with everybody. Um, and then... On top of that, I have my classes. I have a bunch of classes Saturday mornings. Um, and then spotted and spackled throughout the week, I have classes. Some of them are self-defense work. Some of them are martial arts work. Um, just doing all that. So there's that part of my routine. Uh, as it comes to working out, I don't work out as much as I should or want to uh, because I like workout buddies. Working out on my own is awful because what am I doing? I'm going to sit there and make myself miserable for two hours. Why would I want to do that? And then I remember, oh, yeah, you feel better afterward. Um, <laughs> so a lot of my workouts come out from, believe it or not, my reps of, of just I'm working meteor hammer work. I'm working conobo work. Uh, and that shit sucks. I will be completely level. That shit is miserable because I will work on one take of something. Uh, if, it, if it's an off day for my meteor hammer work and I'm just sucking that day, I'll work on a shot for like an hour and a half, two hours. But in those hour and a half, two hours, I will hit a minimum of 100 reps per that hour. So if I'm working a big long string combination, guarantee that inside of that time I've hit at least 100 of them, which is like, oh, that's not that bad until you have a one and a half pound rock on the end of a rope that you're moving fast enough that you lose track of it. Yeah. And it does. Oh, I gotta show you guys this. Give me a sec. I don't know why he thought he was gonna take his pants off. <laughs> so, you ready? You ready? I love that's where your head went. So this is the back of my normal guiding arm. Okay. This is the back <laughs> of the arm that I use. That's from the rope. <laughs> that is from the rope. So that you guys oh. understand. That's from the rope, Jesus. rope, just the rope. So I'm doing stuff like those elbow turns and I am yeah. slamming that backward. Mm. I got that 1.5 pound rock moving fast enough that I lost track of it. I could not see it. I could only see the flag and I got really scared because if that hits my shin, it is gravel. <laughs> That's hilarious. So, Let's be very clear. When I say reps, I mean reps. <laughs> yeah. Re okay. <laughs> so, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm recording shit like that daily. So, um, and then, yeah, yeah. He's like, no, 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 no. So that's that is. I have to give it a rest right now because of this hand. But otherwise, I'd be doing this. Makes sense. Day, day after day after day. You ever thought about um, developing like a guard or something like that? Did you just call me weak on a podcast? That no, is, I'm that's kidding. The, I'm kidding. That's that dojo that we were talking about. That's, that's the murder dojo. That's, that's the murder dojo. That's it. That's it right there. That is, that's, you can see it right here. That's murder Why? dungeon. No, uh, so so you Gino. Uh, yeah. Like for for new people getting into the sport, yeah. like like arm bracers for so, archery. So. You, that is a really good idea. Uh, gloves would also be a really good idea, especially for new people. Um, and one of the things that I find right now, so first off, when it comes to rope work period, when I'm doing meteor hammer rope dart, you really need to be able to feel an index. Mm, yeah. I one agree. of the things that makes this work is the friction between my skin and the rope. Um, because I've worn long sleeve like rash guards before, and while it does save my arm, it saves the bruises, stuff like that, it slips. It comes off super fast. Even long sleeve cotton kung fu uniforms, it slips. So I may have what is a really good wrap, but as soon as my elbow crosses into the center of my plane, it goes, and I'm like, son of a bitch. I didn't want that Which, there. 
Yeah, yeah, gotcha. which leads to more reps and actually some unintended injuries because it comes off of you sooner than you expect. I didn't know that. Um, yeah, it's fun. You guys should play with it at some point. You have a great time. Um, so, and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then the gloves part, they do make some gloves that work, but I find that uh, the the any amount of extra free cloth on your hand will eat the rope and it'll change the friction i got it'll you. change what you're doing um so i've yeah. been gloves on is is incredibly difficult like it's yeah, just yeah dude like, i legitimately have a hard time doing rope dart work shoes versus no shoes huh. because of some of the indexing that i have to do for the kicks and stuff like that legitimately when i'm doing it with my my ratty ass nikes on which are flat um when i'm doing it uh, this tongue can get caught on the rope and it will completely ruin whatever I'm doing. So I have to be very aware of what I'm doing and how it's on my body, which goes to show that this weapon is not one that I would recommend for beginners. And I would not recommend as a viable quick pickup option. Take a spear, take a staff, take a sword over this thing. It is extremely effective. Yep. But very inefficient. Very inefficient. Do something else. Pick something else. But it's very rewarding. And it's extremely effective. And I can hit people in the base of their skull from eight feet away while standing directly in front of them. <laughs> yep. Yep. I can hit you in the back of the head from eight feet away while uh. looking at your face. That is an option that I have because of how flexible this thing is. So. It's, it's but a, anyway. It was like. It's a high skill injury, but also a high reward type of weapon for sure. Yeah, absolutely. So um, ADHD tangent aside, I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of what my my weekly thing looks like go. as I'm training. I'm working. Oh, sweet. <laughs> he's he's going to be the one that keeps track of my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I need I need. Is he group dad? Is he group dad? Oh is God. this is Gino group dad? <laughs> I'm the I'm the I think I'm the most business oriented one out of all of us. So, oh, yep. That's okay. That's okay. I'm cool with I'm that. that. Yeah, yeah. DJ and I are both like, yeah, yeah, okay. Mm. <laughs> the same page. Uh, but no. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then when I was when I was working out and and training every week, it was at least three hours a day of of weights work and cardio work, just just kind of combined. And then the weekends I would go rock climbing or biking or hiking or something like. Yeah, it was daily. Um, Is that what a I would place do? For is that a place for rock climbing or you just like you just go to your backyard and go mount uh, there's, there's a right there's a really nice rock climbing uh, rock climbing place in dayton uh which subsequently is also where the mass shooting happened that i survived but eh, details details so that yeah uh there's a really nice rock uh, rock climbing place there that i love to go to and as soon as i could start going back and not worry about having to use liquid chalk because it sucks um then yeah. I will, I will, I will be going back, and you guys will see garbage content on that too. Uh, hey, there we go. Yeah, but that's that's my weekly routine. Weapons work. Recording that weapons work leads to a lot of reps, um, and then weights work when I can remind myself to do so, which I'm getting better at. Yay! Uh, and then all of the classes that I teach, plus whatever extracurriculars, whatever stuff that I have no business doing on the weekends that I go and do. So if you if you had to estimate. Right, like so that way you don't have to go like hour by hour every day. In a week, the three categories of hours. How many hours a week do you spend on physical, like physical training that includes teaching, performing stuff like that? How many hours a week do you spend doing TikTok? And then mm -hmm. how many hours a week do you spend purposefully avoiding those two things? Got it. Um, Good question. So for the for the training work, it is about 14 to 18 um, hours a week for the training stuff. Okay. Um, for the uh, uh, the the TikToking stuff, that is uh, somewhere around 24 to 30 hours a week of TikTok work. Um, and then for the everything else, that's maybe 10 hours a week. That's that's the other stuff right now. That's solid. That's solid. Okay, so I guess it's my turn. A um, lot like you, I have uh, different, <laughs> I have different workout regimens. I will usually work on is my weapon stuff all the time. That's that's my go-to 
for just reps for like i'll grab some of my heavier swords and i'll just kind of get the the conditioning and the speed drilling uh going um that's that's my go-to even when i'm like not feeling good if i'm having a bad day i just got off work and i'm just you know ha not having a good day that's what i go do to relax re to revive to do all that um and then if i do something cool like if i'm like doing a, a, a drill and think of something cool and trick then i'll just kind of record it and keep going um and that may take me however long but <laughs> that's kind of how my recording process works i just train until i find something cool to do um and then i'm actually getting ready for my master test right now in tungsudo so it's the fourth degree test in tungsudo it's going to be like a week-long test of of 20-ish hour days so i'm like trying to be ready so i am now uh running over all my forms and katas running over all the all the self defenses the traditional weapons work all of that so that's like a whole separate um workout time slot i save for it so i have like my normal tricking and kicks and stuff like that and then i have that traditional separate uh workout um and then i have my like my film stuff so my film stuff especially with uh, I've been working with a lot of like um, smaller production companies on choreography and stuff like that. And so what I'll do is I will um, either with, you know, my brother or something like that, or I'll just go out by myself and, and try and take a fight scene and recreate it and see if I can break it down, change a little bit. Like I did one uh, the other day that was like the uh, Black Panther versus Winter Soldier. Um, when they were on the rooftop area, like I recreated that and that was fun. <clears throat> um, but that's pretty much it for now. I'm still trying to find a, a gym in the area. I'm trying to find like places where I can do more of my weapon training without getting weird looks all the time. Cause I don't like, it's, those looks don't bother me, but I just don't want people like to feel unsafe in their apartment complex. So, you know, and Dallas, exactly. <laughs> and you're brown. <laughs> Look, there's a whole layer. Of <laughs> One thing is, um, there's actually there's actually three different police officers that follow me on YouTube because they were called on me <laughs> and like, what you doing? <laughs> um, but that beside the point, I, I was like training in Kung Fu. Uh, about twice a week, I was making two or three trips um, to, to Arkansas and Oklahoma to train with a couple different schools and just kind of teach. Um, and I was going to the gym nonstop. I was like trying to get ready for a specific role. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. It's it's now it's mostly weapon work and just kind of. Uh, your your standard you know some push-ups some sit-ups to kind of maintain and that that's it that's all i got have you uh you ever considered trying to like lead a group of people to do training with you or have you just been on the student side it's it's so it's different um i've been recently started doing um i, I recently very recently found a parkour gym that's not too far it's like a like a uh, yeah, Ninja Warrior Gym, and I'm starting to get them of those guys and starting to train there. I'm, um, I'm going to make it more often now that I'm like, I'm comfortable. I'm kind of in my in my uh, house now. I'm not moving in anymore. All that kind of stuff is is settled. So I'm gonna be going there and trying to get a group of guys together there because I know there's a bunch of people um, around my age that do you know, martial arts and, and rings and Ninja Warrior and stuff that I'm into. So that's a, that's a great place that I want to get to. Uh, and uh, it just isn't set up yet. It's just all like, you know, new basically. Cause I just moved in not, not a month ago. Okay. That's cool. One of the so little, little thing, if you are interested in it, one of the ways we got started with our school was when my dad started collecting a bunch of people to do training it was actually a joke when they said you should just open a school and he go we'll open it if you guys pay for the lease and you find the place so they actually did that 
So it was <laughs> like, it was basically a proxy, like paid tuition. It was just everybody pitched in for a one year lease for us to have a place to train at that wasn't our garage. That's, that's awesome. That's wonderful. So if you if so, you happen to get a group that big or if you want to, you know, fundraise on TikTok or something like that, you could that's that's a that's an option. That's awesome. That is a great idea. I've been honestly, most of my ex like most of my um efforts as far as what I've been working on on and trying to build up to have been I I'm trying to get to the point where I can produce like high quality films. Um for example, like I'm trying to get um, an apocalypse series going, right? So I'm going out. That's the most of the people I'm meeting with and training right now. Like I'm meeting actors and just being like, hey, uh, work with me. I'll train you how to do martial arts. And they're like, bet. And so those are the people I'm, I'm meeting and, and training with and meeting at the gym and training with right now. Um, and pre-COVID that was, that was the case too more often, but now it's just kind of building back up to it. But anyway, um, I want to be able to like eventually go to different locations, go to different places, people, different martial artists out there and do training with them and have them as, you know, part of the series by like traveling to them and, and getting that going. So that's, that's what I want to get to. Uh, and so as far as like building up a, a group of people, we kind of have been doing that because like I met a camera guy now and I met a, uh, a a video a video artist that actually knows what he's talking about and I met like some sound guys that are interested so it's kind I'm I am kind of building like a group of people it's just they all don't train yet <laughs> yeah I have to work on that. that's that's the most important part like it's kind of sad the guy that does our YouTube I don't know if you guys saw our YouTube channel but the guy that does our YouTube channel uh, actually moved away today uh, ah. he gives like a like a month notice um to go onto the the left coast so he was he actually got trained it. he got his blue belt in jujitsu under us and has been like he's been with us for a while and then he like moved away but he's also our, our video guy so we're we're oh, trying to find something to do like i could do that but that's already a lot uh well, actually oh, let me let's finish let's finish up with uh with his first because i don't think we did oh, the that's right for, for that's right yeah so the the hourly one. Let's get some numbers in here. Okay. So for for my normal, you know, weapon training, I usually probably do it in a week. Probably like thirty hours in a week. Probably about you know somewhere around there. Probably for my master test, I need to do it more. But probably only like five to ten hours, you know, throughout the week. Just kind of, you know, two here, two there. The 30 I'm talking about, my bad. Oh, uh, uh, okay. So roughly five about 30 ten. hours in total for the whole week is... is in total, yeah, yeah, yeah. Five to ten of them are for master stuff. Uh, and then the rest is usually just kind of... Um, um, the rest is like sword stuff. Um, my, my film is not... I don't count that as training because it's definitely me teaching people and not as strenuous as something. So that's just kind of when I'm resting and when I'm healing and stuff like that, because I really don't have to do very much physical stuff. It's more testing my brain and, and showing other people how to do stuff. But as far as like sword training, that's about it. Okay. And then uh, for your TikTok on the, the entrepreneurial so, business side. For my TikTok, I spend probably a total of I don't, I don't it's hard to say because whenever i'm training it's literally whenever something happens whenever so, I, whenever a camera is on or you have the app open whenever a camera is on or i have the app open probably about seven probably about 10 hours a week okay nice. and then personal time would you would you consider your project of teaching the actors personal time outside of your yeah. own training okay yeah because it's not it's not my training i'm not physically like active it's more just me doing what i love to do and filming yeah, yeah. I was say. so gina you've asked us both what does yours look like your 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 training week look like and then the same hourly breakdown uh like you know not hourly but the the weekly breakdown what does yours look like dude hit us up uh let's see here what do i do what do i do i don't know what i do <laughs> 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 so i my schedule is basically all day 
Monday through Friday, and then morning to early, or yeah, early afternoon on Saturday. So on Mondays, we actually have like a schedule for like editing and like nine to five brainstorming and stuff. Well, kind of like eight to ten. Yeah. Um, so technically, I work like excluding excluding like the two mini breaks I take during the day. It's like t- four four 12 hour days um basically a mix of it's a lot of admin work like i sit on this computer a lot more than i stand on the mats Um, yeah straight up so so it's basically it's a lot of planning um i get my morning training at 10 o'clock and then i do like a half and half of teaching and training in the evening um 4 30 is when all the little ones come in and then 5 30 the second little ones come in and then all the adults come in after that during like prime time um i don't have to teach any of like the later evening classes so that's nice but like alternating training three training in and teaching the three arts plus the kids classes that we have is like roughly six programs in the school so being able to do that um definitely takes a lot of like teamwork so no school can be run by itself like it's always a, a team effort for sure I was gonna say, especially if you're running that many programs, man, that's that's a team effort. It's you do that on your own and you're gonna fucking die. Like it's, yeah. yeah. Muay Thai nah. Jiu Jitsu, Filipino martial arts, the we call it TDP, the total defense program. My mom's program, which is the explorers, the five to seven year olds, and then I have the eight to thirteen year olds, and then my dad teaches the kids jiu jitsu class. So you that's that's the six. So we all have our own specialty kids program and then we all contribute to the adults. That's cool. That's very cool. I guess if I was to break it down hourly, I am physically training about 21 hours a week. (laughs) Um, For TikTok, I do 15 or 16 hours a week. So like two hours a day-ish. So anytime outside of 9 to 9. So 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. And my lunch break is the time that I do all of my TikTok stuff. Because like 9 to 9 a.m. to p.m. is the... First day. So it's like it's actually like a legitimate 50-50 split. <laughs> the nice. daytime daytime is for the family business and nighttime and lunch is for me. And then I guess for, for personal time, um, I kind of claim it a lot more often than I should. Um, but basically like at midnight or something like that, I'll usually just like come back here and game or something for like a couple of hours. So I'll say like 10, 10 hours a week for Gino time. That's called mental health. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I gotta work. I gotta work on the fine line between mental health and revenge procrastination. So that <laughs> you know what I mean. You, do you know what I mean? No, like I, when you're I, like, I, I, that. That's genius. I don't want tomorrow to start yet. So we're gonna claim more hours right now. <laughs> I don't. Like, I have well, no idea what's like well, keeping me awake. I think it's just like Red Bull and probably like rage nectar. <laughs> rage. Yeah. Rage. Rage. Just, rage. Just, just fucking cool. tall boy Filipino rage. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, 